So in today's web dev tip, we're going to get set up with a HTTPS connection for our website. So in yesterday's tutorial, we managed to get our domain pointing uh, to our server, but we're only accepting traffic on port 80. So in order to secure the connection, uh, we need to first of all get an SSL certificate and then configure Nginx to make sure that we're uh, accepting connections that are secure. So we're going to do that using the Let's Encrypt system. Uh, so you may be familiar with this already, but uh, Let's Encrypt basically allows allows us to uh, gain a free SSL certificate and manage it and update it. Uh, so that's great, we don't have to spend any extra cash on that. And we're going to do it using a piece of software called CertBot. And CertBot will uh, manage to actually get the SSL certificate for us, configure Nginx, and also look after renewables for us too. So let's uh, go ahead and log on to our server. And we're going to install the CertBot server first of all, and then we'll go and grab the certificate. So uh, if you may have CertBot installed already on your server, uh, if you don't, you'll see something like this. Um, we've got a couple of options to actually install it. Uh, so you can either use the Snap or the uh, Apt repository. Uh, so obviously the Snap will give us the more latest version. So uh, we'll use that as our option here to install uh, CertBot. If we run this command just as it is, you'll see there's a bit of an error because it requires some privileges which aren't in the newer version of Snap. So you pass in a flag of dash dash classic, uh, and that should go away and install the uh, CertBot software uh, and get it ready for us to use on our Ubuntu system. So I'll just wait for that to install. Oh, there you go. You see it's uh, done it already, and now we should have the uh, CertBot command available to us. And uh, you can see there, it's uh, we've got this Let's Encrypt software installed now on our server. And you can configure it to add an email address for renewals. So it will remind you when you need to log on and do any renewals and security problems. And you can see if you don't enter an email address, you get this uh, warning or error message. Uh, so you do need to provide one uh, to actually get it set up. So let's run that again. And uh, I'll put in the email address for my junior developer central uh, account. And same with any sort of bit of software, you've got to accept the terms and conditions. So if you just follow through and answer the questions that you would uh, like to do. So when you run CertBot for the first time, it will actually ask if there are any domains on your account uh, that you want to install this for. So there is a separate command if you want to set this up for additional uh, domains, but because we're running the, the wizard, uh, we might as well do this now. So uh, which domains would you like to uh, enable HTTPS for? Uh, so we definitely want to do it for the domain without the www dot, uh, but you can also do it for the uh, www dot uh, domain as well. So you do need two separate certificates to do that. So uh, let's see, we just need to say one and two are the options separated by commas and all spaces. Yeah, that should be good. So now CertBot will go and request a certificate uh, for those two uh, parts of the domain. Uh, and it should automatically install that for you. Uh, I think it should uh, also configure Nginx for us. Let me have a look. So uh, deploying the certificates. Uh, so yeah, it does look like it's done that. So let me just check. So inside of ETC, Nginx, sites uh, enabled, and then forward slash uh, rick and roll.me. We should see some extra information uh, set up for the SSL side of things. Uh, you can see here, this is what we set up uh, in a previous tutorial uh, for the non-HTTPS version, but then CertBot's gone away and actually installed all of this as well. And there's little notes in there to tell you what it's actually done. So luckily we don't need to understand any of this. It does it automatically for you. Uh, and it also puts in some redirects uh, so that if you try and request the non-HTTPS version, uh, it should redirect you as well. So that's all you need to do to get set up. And as I mentioned, there is a separate command that you can run uh, if you haven't configured your domain already, or if you're adding a new domain to your server, or, or even if you've got CertBot installed already. So I'll put that in the description below just in case you need that. But now if we go back over to our domain uh, that we set up yesterday, so we can see now at the moment it's saying it's not secure here in Chrome. Uh, but if we refresh, we can see we've got the little padlock. And if we click on that, you can see the connection is secure. Uh, and it should show us some information about the certificate as well, uh, which we've just set up for this domain. Uh, so now we have our domain set up on a secure connection. So there you go, uh, fairly simple. Just install the CertBot software and run it, and it should pick up any uh, domains that you've got set up in Nginx. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.